Good morning guys, we just got on the sand. We're about to have a little short pound session. Uh, I'm gonna be throwing the Lucky Craft and a uh, half ounce war baits, weedless jig head with some swim baits on it. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna try to get into a bite. It's uh, halibut season, heating up right into the middle of the, probably the best time of the year to target halibut. So hopefully we can have some luck today. Hopefully we can make an episode out of this, guys. We're gonna have some fun, high lines. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> I like fishing the low here and it's nice and low right now. Um, super shallow, but deep enough to hold fish. While there's a good, uh, good chance of me hanging up my LC, uh, it's also shallow enough and calm enough where I might be willing to go in and get it if I if something like that happens. We're just gonna cover some water here, but I do see some like little drop-offs and little pockets of water that could hold fish. So if you see right in front of me, you see some rocks sticking out of the water. I've had some productive moments right here I'm on the low and it's very, very low, almost too low. I've lost a good amount of tackle here, but I've also caught legal halibut here. You know, I think uh, when the halibut are holding here, they're kind of hiding around this structure and hiding around these pilings, waiting for an ambush. So I'm gonna kind of cast in between the rocks, around the rocks. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. I want the bite so bad that I'm willing to lose my bait to get a bite. How about you? I'm switching to the jig head. Oh, do I have a fish on? I'm on, guys. Yeah! Come on. Woohoo! It's a good, good halley. It's a short. All right. Good to get on the board, though, guys. Not illegal by any means, but, um, kind of confirmation that I was doing something right which sometimes I doubt about myself jeez Louise yeah I got um, uh, like a 17 so cool man just stoked to uh, finally get a bite guys but that was very rewarding um, was working a spot that I believe hold halibut and it took a few casts but he ate it. So I'm throwing this half ounce Warbaits jig head weedless on a Bass Tricks uh, swim bait. Just swimming it through um, next to the rocks and uh, I got bit. So super, super rewarding. And now I just got to remember what I was doing. Um, I was casting a spot and it's a spot that brings a lot of fear to what I'm trying to do because I'm afraid that I'm going to get hung up but I know exactly where he bit. And uh, he bit right to the right of it. I cast it out and I was hugging it right along. And the line went tight. I didn't even feel the strike, but a lot of times with halibut, you won't know. All right, guys, we're gonna go back to the Lucky Craft. Cherry Berry. At the risk of losing this guy, I'm gonna swim it right through the structure and hope for something to strike. I'd say there's a pretty good chance of me losing this thing. Oh yeah. Oh, I got one on guys. Oh dude, he's going crazy. Cherry berry guys, score. It's a good fish, good fish. I don't know if he's illegal. I'm uh, gonna try to get him past these rocks. Looks like another short, but, um, oh dude, that was so cool. Might be illegal, who knows? Let's see. He's a good size. Ugh. Better than the last one, guys. This guy might be illegal. Dope. Huh? Halibut. Halibut. Yeah. 
Boy, how cool is that? Yeah. I mean, when they're biting, it seems easy, but it's actually pretty hard. So I'm really glad that one decided to bite my stupid lure. Yeah. yeah. We're right at 20. Really? Yeah. How long did it have to be? 22. Oh, yeah. Like. He's two inches short. I'd let him go anyways, but you know. Thank you so much, well, guys. Right. Appreciate it. Cool to see that. Yeah. All right, guys. Got halibut number two. This one's a little bigger. Woo! And off he goes. Finally got one on the cherry berry. And as the tide's sucking out, there is a deeper trough ahead of me. So I was waited way out there. Just cast it into open water and I think he came up for it. And it was really cool. It was just splashing above the water. But yeah, it was uh, almost immediate hit. I didn't do a jerk or anything. Normally I'll give a, a snap down on the rod to get the Lucky Craft swimming down. But because there's so many rocks here and so many things that could uh, get hung up on, um, I just casted it out straight out and was just doing a, a steady retrieve um, as slow as possible while keeping the line tight. And that's the trick. If you're reeling in slack line, the lure's not swimming. And I know that sounds really basic to a lot of you guys, but keep the line tight and as slow as possible um, to give it that real tight movement. So what I've learned about this particular stretch of sand, this is a low tide beach, guys. Every bite that I've had here at this beach has been on the low tide. And so I'm gonna put that in my mental checklist and try to remember that for next time. And that's what you wanna do when you're fishing is as you explore new areas and explore new stretches of sand. When you have success, take notes as to what the conditions were like on that day. And it doesn't mean it's always gonna be that way, but it can kind of hone you in on how to fish that beach. And you know, it very well could be that those conditions are supposed to be how you're supposed to fish it. So right now, uh, I'm just trying pause and jerk. Pause and jerk. Um, just two quick jabs down or up at the risk of losing, but uh, where I'm doing that is I'm casting out a little bit to open water where I don't think there's as many rocks to get hung up on. So what I'm doing right now is it's super shallow all the way out here, but it drops down. So there's a drop off right here. And so I'm trying to cover that drop off. There's fish at the edge of that waiting to ambush. Oh, I saved it. I worked so hard and I saved it. And I'm standing in a perfect spot. Woo! I saved you. Now catch me a fish. I'm standing on top of a rock and I can just see the water so much better. Probably lose it this cast now, but whatever. Fish on. Oh. On. Fish on, guys. Good one. Oh, got the head shakes. Number three. Let's get some eyes on him. He's a good size, guys. Heck yeah. This one might be the legal we're looking for. Uh, see if we can get him out of structure. He's got the head shakes that we're looking for. Come on. Haven't seen him yet, but he's got the weight that I want. Oh, this is a bass, sand bass, guys. Look at that. I'm not gonna measure him, not necessary. I don't wanna walk past my spot, but we're clearly in fishy water. Almost got the hook out on the cherry berry. So that was a good size. So, dude, there's fish holding here, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, so I just caught a sand bath. I'm gonna try to show it on the camera right here. Um, I've examined the line, you know, from the naked eye, if you don't look closely, it looks okay, but you can see an abrasion right here. And I'm using 10 pound floor, which is way too light. And a Seaguar fluorocarbon, um, Tatsu is a great line, but any line, especially fluoro, that gets a little nick in it, you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and retie here. Gotta maximize this day. Um, that was a barred sand bass. Might have been illegal, I'm not sure. Right around that legal area.
Oh, fish on, guys. Oh, this is a, is this a dream? What a session this is turning into, and it's another good one. Oh. Oh, love the head shake. It might be another bass, the way he's shaking his head. Oh, what do we got here? It's a good fish. He's shaking like crazy. It might be another bass. Yeah, another bass. This one's better than the last one. It's a legal size. I don't know the size on them, but I'm not going to measure them. I'm going to let him go. Uh, hopefully the camera gets everything I need. I'll try to draw a picture. I'm going to go back to my rock here. My safe place. 